Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CB Winners video series on maybe interview questions or it's a general awareness question. Maybe this might have crossed your mind but you didn't realize that. This video is sponsored by Dev C++, a fast, portable, simple and free C and C++ IDE and code editor for Windows. Dev C++ uses MingW GCC as its compiler and it can also be used in combination with Sigwin or any other GCC based compiler. Dev C++ have low memory footprint because it is native Windows application and does not use Electron. And it is immensely popular due to its light footprint, yet giving you all the features you need, not to mention that it's free. So download the latest release for free by clicking the link in the description field. So as you already know, we are going to find the difference between operator and act. So we can access vector in C++ using these two ways. And here's the example, you have vector, I have created this vector with 3, 2, 5, these numbers and then you have vector dot at 0 meaning you're asking what is the location, I mean what is the value at this location and you know this very well right in vector. But this at is also there. Now the confusion is why you will go for this or why this or vice versa. <laughs> so it is very simple, both are used to access elements in vector, this we are so much clear, you can access the elements of the vector using either of these. Now the difference start from here. The first difference is operator don't do range checking whereas this at does check the range. Meaning if you can see this statement which I have commented out then you will realize this vector of 100 is like an undefined behavior because you, you don't have anything at 100 location if you see this but you're asking. So this guy won't throw this this piece won't throw but at would throw meaning it is checking the range okay so the second point is don't throw when this guy does throw so if you're going out of bound you will get the out of bound error I'll show you that don't worry so I'll just simply compile this and I'll execute this so see 3 and 3 meaning this is also printing 3 which is this location and this is also printing 3 this is okay you will not get much difference here let's look at this one and I will just simply comment this and let's run this again see it is staying out of range exception it is terminating with uncaught exception of type this meaning you are going out of bound and you got to know that if I will just comment this one and let's check this time see I don't know this is undefined behavior you, you should not trust this it will always give zero or some meaningful number or something okay and the third one is obviously this might have crossed your mind this operator is faster and then this add is little slower I don't know how much it depends what is the implementation but obviously as this at is like first this vector dot at if you're giving maybe 100 then this at function have to check whether this 100 is available in this vector right so nothing come free you have to have some instructions to check that and those instructions will obviously take time whereas this way vector of maybe 100 this is just one single operation you know how array works right like you have the vector and then you want to go at 100 place how you will do that right like vector multiplication I mean size of the vector multiplied by 100 it will take you that to that location in that memory because that memory is a contiguous memory but this guy is costly process but we will use this if you don't know if you're not sure about the indexes you will go for this if you are pretty damn clear that you are putting this expression under some for loop and that for loop would never generate some index that would cross this boundary or something if you're sure you can go for this i mean you should go for this because this is pretty fast and this guy here is like pretty damn security check like you you you, you will not get pass if you are going out of bound then if you have some requirement like that you'll go for this one interesting right yeah so i will see you in the next videos guys take care bye bye